Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing all well. In today's video I am going to show you how I made these lovely embroidery hoops filled with wildflowers and resin. So without further ado, let's get to it. So, first things first, these are my embroidery hoops. I got them on Amazon. They come in set of four, but today I am going to be using three of them. I like my odd numbers. So, here they are and I am going to take a sticky sheet. And I am going to stick these hoops on sticky sheet. So after that I pour resin, it stays in the hoop and doesn't leak, at least in theory. But no, it's not always bad. I have some leakage, but it's not big deal. So here I am sticking them on, try to push all my force and also I put some wood plank again to just make them have better contact and today I am going to be using just transparent resin so i thought i will try to make my hoops transparent and here i am pouring i am pouring about two three millimeters and it is my first layer so after that it cures i am going to add the next layer and it's going to be together with flowers. So here I am spreading equally resin and popping bubbles because it's transparent and you can see everything. And I'm gonna cover it and leave it to cure. So this is the next day and I have prepared my flowers. And these flowers are one of my favorite flower combination. Since the springtime I've been waiting to collect all three of them, puppies, daisies and cornflower to make this um, set of wild flowers together and now I am starting with little hoop and I'm going to be putting first a little bit of resin I call it the glue and after that arrange my flowers so if you are enjoying this video so far please press a like that would help me and my channel out a lot thank you just a little behind the scene information uh, all this video footage was 45 minutes long and after editing, I managed to shorten it to 10 minutes. Well done me. I find it really fascinating. So how is everybody doing this summer? It is end of July. And finally, my boys are in summer holidays. 
of school and we are all spending time together. The weather it's as usual in England, in area where I live, not very sunny, mostly rain and clouds. So yes, we have our good days, so we have to wait for them. And every time we get them, we need to be ready to go out and enjoy. Right, that's all done. Now I'm gonna let it cure again for 24 hours. And this is the next day and it's time for the next layer. It's going to be the third layer. Just my observations um, working with dried puppies, I noticed that, oh my gosh, they are so paper thin and very light and they move so easy and you need to be very careful when placing them because once it goes on resin, it's quite hard to maneuver, maneuver them. I hope I make sense. It is quite late actually and I am a bit tired, sleepy, but I wanted to record this video. So here I am bubbling away. I find that this layer is very important because uh, you get the bubbles coming from the spots of flowers and you need to spend quite a bit of time make sure that all the bubbles come out. And after this layer I am putting another layer. I didn't film it but it's just another final clear layer and here we have the final result i am very happy how they turned out and very happy because finally i got to do my trio combination i think these are the best wildflowers in the world if you found this video useful and entertaining, please leave a comment down below. But for now, I'm saying goodbye. Until next time, keep creating. Bye. And good night.